one of the things I enjoyed the most when I was in school was the, the school I went to encouraged students to teach other students. And that's a piece of what is a part of our homeschooling life now, and we really enjoy that. Um, Harry uh, taught a couple of classes here at the um, convention, and he did it last year, and has done similar things in our area. And it's just really nice to see him follow that. It's a great way to learn a lot of things. It's organization, it's the material, um, it's wondering what people are going to want to know and spreading yourself to think about what the right thing to describe to somebody is, how deep, how shallow. We actually picked up a bit on that um, in planning this coming school year. Um, we just recently were talk Toby was saying that he wanted to do some uh, science kits that we had lying around. And I realized that as the baby of the family, he hasn't done a lot of the things that the older boys have done. So um, Harry took it upon himself to look through all of our science books and science materials and with a stack of post-it notes, chose sort of our science projects for the next however many months and got very excited and also gave me reviews like this book doesn't have anything really valuable in it or this has some interesting information but not really good projects and I thought what a fabulous experience for him as a teenager and a thinker um, and also great because he's planning on leading the the charge with science and for his little brother to learn from him is going to be really sweet and uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm Morgan and I'm from Sacramento. I'm Shelby, I'm from Sacramento as well. I'm 14 and I've been homeschooling for the majority of my lifetime. I'm Sam, I'm from uh, Berkeley and uh, I'm 15. I've been unschooling my whole life, which unschooling is different than homeschooling because it's, you do everything self-motivated. Your parents don't give you a textbook and say, do this work right now, you know. It's, it's, it, you can do schoolwork if you want to, but everything you do is self-motivated, and it's based on the theory that you can't force people to learn stuff. Like, for example, you think of what what did you learn when you were 15 in high school, and how much of that do you still remember? And it's you you learn a lot more if you learn what you're interested in and do what you love, and yeah, it's that's true. Yeah. There's a wider variety of like options. In school, it's kind of centered down to the few things that people have chosen for you and well, in public school. There's some options like Montessori and Waldorf which are different and similar to like a charter school, which is what a lot of the people who homeschool go through. And I'm starting actually in a couple months. And it's really interesting because they give you the work, they give you options and you meet with the teacher which is really great if you want to make sure you're staying on track instead of specifically having your own exact course of study because a lot of people do choose to do that which sometimes is hard like personally for me I always I can't follow my own schedule I'll be like oh the computer's right there and that's that's just me so charter school's a lot easier for, for a lot of people um, yeah. I'm part of a charter school as well, and um, I've kind of become an unschooler because my mom really wanted me to have the basic skills, and so she worked with me every day until I could read and write and do basic math, and then she kind of let me go, and that's worked really well because I found things that I'm interested in, and um, I do what I'm interested in. Like, um, I play violin, and I ride horses, and that's been really awesome, and I've met a lot of people through that. Yeah, a lot of homeschoolers do like the performing arts because yeah. it's easier as homeschooling to be into that if you're not having a full school day to choose to go at different hours than you would if you were actually going to school. So that makes it a lot easier to get into these kind of things. Mm -hmm. Like I danced for nine years. Yeah, I'm going to clear something up about unschooling. It's not that you can't be structured. It's that you're, if you want to be structured, you can be, but it's, you, you're doing what you want as opposed to being forced to I write on homeschooling. I have two daughters, now 22 and 19, um, both of whom were homeschooled entirely, both of whom, one of whom is now a graduate student at Princeton, one of whom is at American University studying international development. Um, 
our approach to homeschooling was a child-led, family-centered learning. We saw homeschooling as homeschooling for the entire education for the entire family, not just for the kids. There was no time in our lives as a family that we weren't all learning at the same time. And I think I could probably say, I feel we, we got, as parents, got as much out of it as the kids themselves did during the journey. Um, it was a great way to, to really be in touch with our kids in this important part of their lives. And we've built strong ties to both them and to our entire community through our homeschooling experience. Our approach to learning assumed that learning actually happens from the inside out. Children are like a coiled spring ready to explode. Uh, as we do as both children and as adults throughout our, our entire life. And so our job really is just to facilitate opportunities for the spring to come forth from within. Um, in some sense, we weren't teachers at all, but rather simply facilitators in our children's journey through, through their lives. Every homeschooler kind of has a different life. Uh, I have, I grew up, my mom runs the homeless shelter um, where I live. So I kind of learned about poverty really early on. And um, I learned best at night because I really in the morning I can't think worth anything. So um, I most of the time do my schoolwork between the hours of about uh, 8 o'clock to 10 or 11 o'clock at night because that's when I think best and I'm most awake. I'm also an auditory learner and that's something that you know in public school you don't really know about. A lot of the time it's a visual thing but being an auditory learner, being homeschooled gave me a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't have because I, I, I can listen to music and, and learn that way for instance. But yeah, and then I go to work during the day. It's, day in my life. <laughs> we really want to encourage the kids to be empowered to make choices for themselves and I, I'm really a, a strong believer in non-coercive learning and uh, for us it learning is all aspects of life. Um, it's not just about but what you do in the classroom. So our lifestyle is that when the kids are tired the kids sleep, when the kids are hungry the kids eat and all of us do that. Um, for, for me and my husband, we were not homeschooled or unschooled, so we've had a, a learning curve, so to speak, of de-schooling, and so we're learning along with the kids. And so a, a, a day could be anything from hanging out at home and immersing ourselves in media to being out all day at a beach uh, tide pooling. So every day is pretty much different. We do have a certain rhythm to the life with certain activities we do with park days and other activities. Um, but um, we, we let the kids kind of um, drive the activities to a large extent by what their interests are and then we try to facilitate finding ways to meet their needs to, to do the activities they're interested in. In school they don't always teach you exactly what actually happened. Sometimes it's nice to be able to have resources like to just decide, well I'm learning about the War of 1812, I'm going to go on the internet and see what research I can do myself and find out more facts than just textbooks can tell you. because there's a huge range of things. and In public school when they're making you learn something from a textbook, you're not going to want to go on the internet and find out about the War of 1812. It's boring. You're learning about that in school every day. So homeschooling, if you have a subject you're really interested in, a lot of the time you really get to know that subject. You learn as much as you can and then you learn the things that are important and the actual facts instead of what American history has taught us so far in textbooks over the years.